Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. I welcome you to our today's lesson. The topic is structure of the atom and the periodic table. So today we are discussing about uh, valency and oxidation number. Uh, first, we'll define what is the valency, and we refer the valency as the combining power of an element. The combining power of an element, or we can say it's the number of electrons gained or lost by an atom during ion formation. So the number that it gains or loses is the valency. If it gains one, the valency is one. If it loses one, the valency is one. If it gains two, the valency is two. If it loses two, the valency is still two. So you can see that uh, valency is the number of electrons gained or lost during ion formation. It is also referred to as the combining power of an element. The combining power of an element. That's the other term. So we are going to discuss the valency of common elements. We're going to discuss the valency of common elements. Common atoms of elements. So we have, uh, for instance, metals. There are those that have a valency of one. Those that have a valency of two. And those that have a valency of three. So the metals that have a valency of one include uh, lithium, it's a group one element, hence the valency is one, sodium, potassium, those are basically group one elements, they are those that have more than one valency, such as copper, Copper can, in, can have a valency of one or two. So you can also have it copper with a valency of two. That's why we have to specify. Is it copper one or copper two? For those that have a valency of two, we have uh, beryllium, Be, magnesium, Mg, calcium. We have others that are transition metals like zinc, barium, and so on and so forth. We are picking the, the common ones. Even iron, we have iron with a valency of two as well. Although iron can also have a valency of three. So the valency of three we have boron, 
basically those that lose three electrons aluminium we have talked about iron so basically those ones are metals that have a valency of one valency of two valency of three So next, we look at non-metals. So non-metals, they are those that have a valency of one, valency of two, valency of three, So these are generally the ones that gain electrons. The ones that gain electrons during ion formation. We have examples, those with a valency of one, hydrogen is a non-metal, uh, chlorine, fluorine, bromine, iodine. So basically these are uh, group 7. Group 7, the valency of 2, we have uh, oxygen. We also have sulfur. The non-metals with a valency of three, we have uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, so basically those ones. Then we have what we call radicals, and these are groups of atoms. That exist and react as a unit with a net charge. So, even the radicals have their valences. So, some radicals have a valency of 1. Others have a valency of 2. And others have a valency of 3.
So the radicals that have a valency of 1, we have hydroxide, OH, negative. Those are groups of atoms, more than one atom. Nitrate, NO3, negative. Nitrite, NO2. We have ammonium, so all those have a valency of 1. Those that have a valency of 2, we have the carbonate, sulfate, we have... Uh, Sulfite, so the valency here is equivalent to the charge, 2 negative for those that have a valency of 2, negative for those that have a valency of 1, uh, there are more, those that have a valency of 3, we have phosphate, PO4, 3, negative, and so on and so forth. So those are the common ones. So basically, uh, th that is about the valences. So the first question in the assignment, define the term valency. Two, give a list, a list of five metals and their valences, and B, five non-metals and their valences. Then number three, what is a radical? So finish that, and then we'll continue from there. Goodbye. <laughs>